Hey guys, it's Zach. Hey, it's me here. And in this tutorial, we're going to want to move around cleanly in our maze. So if you remember last time, there were some places that it's kind of difficult for the player to move through. And the first step in our agenda is to show what exactly that error is. We'll review that. Then we're going to make it so that it moves along the grid. Then we're going to change our speed to a factor of the grid size. And we're going to play around with our speed until we get our player moving at good speed. So let's start the game and where we were last time and show what the issue is. Right, so by now you guys have probably made a uh, few mazes just messing around with walls and you might have come across sections where you can move cleanly like this but then there are other sections where it just it's weird you just can't move through them. It seems like you should be able to but you can't. Um, and what's what's happening here is the player isn't exactly aligned with that space. So part of the player is colliding with the wall. And if you remember, according to our actions, the player movement should be zero when it collides with the wall. Uh, so we got to make it sure that it aligns exactly with that cell it can fit perfectly in. OK, so we just showed what the error is. And we can check that off our list. Now we want it to snap in the grid. So I'm going to open up our room. And if you remember last time, we changed our grid cell size to 32 by 32 because each wall is 32 by 32 pixels, along with the player being 32 by 32 pixels. So every time we have our player move, we want to first make sure that it's aligned with the cell. And to do that, I'm going to exit out of this room. I'm going to double click on my object player. And I'm going to go to each of the four directions plus the stop. I'm going to start with left, and it says it's, when I have left, it starts moving left, but before I start moving left, I want to make sure that's aligned with the cell. And the way I do that is we go to this control tab. You see this octagon with a bunch of grid spaces. So I'm going to click and drag it over here above the start moving in a direction action. And it says if instance is aligned with the grid, and our grid size, if you remember, is 32 by 32. So we click OK. And now we should only move left when our character is aligned with the grid. Right. So the way that GameMaker treats actions is that it reads actions from top to bottom. Um, so the first thing it's going to see is it's going to see this if condition. It's going to say if instance is aligned with grid. And by instance, it means the player itself. So if I am aligned with the grid, then do all the actions underneath me. If I am not aligned with grid, ignore everything else. So only, only start moving in direction action. It'll only be called or it'll only be executed if it is aligned with the grid. So the order of your actions do really matter. So remember to have this on top of this. Cool. So let's do that for all the other directions. So we're going to go to our up. And we have our grid snap. Let's drag it in above 32, 32. Let's do that with right. Drag it in above. And let's do that with down, drag it in, above. And remember to also do it with the stopping, which was the no key event. So let's drag this in, above, 32, at 32, then click OK. And we've just done our grid snap in left and right and in the other directions. So we can mark all those off of our checklist. So we click OK, and let's run the game, and you'll see that the player only moves when it's aligned to the grid. So I'm going to press right, and then this weird thing is going on right now. It's like skipping a couple of cells. Yeah, so it seems to be not moving one cell at a time. And what's happening is there's a math You'll understand this more when you guys do your math worksheets. But the basic idea of what's happening is it's not stopping one grid cell away. It's actually stopping three grid cells away because of what the speed is set to. And so when we so what is the speed set to right now? Our speed is right now set to 6. And the problem with a speed of 6 is that our speed actually has to be a factor of 32. And if you guys know your factors well, the factors of 32 are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. 
and because six isn't one of those, it's not going to behave right. Okay. So let's pick a speed that is a factor of 32. So let's I'm make gonna, it four. Okay, four sounds good. So I'm going to double click, and I'm going to go to all my different directions. So see the start moving direction? I'm going to double click on it. Remember I always set the speed to six. Let's just change that to four. And uh, all of my directions I'm going to do. Okay, so now we changed our speed to a factor of the grid size. So I can check that off the list. And let's run it, the game, and see if it works now. All right, so I'm just going to press the right arrow key, and boom, I automatically move to the next cell. I'm never, at, if, I, if I let go of keys, I'm never going to be in the middle of these cells. As you can see, I'm perfectly aligned. Even if I hold it and now I let go, it's going to make sure I'm aligned. Uh, so let's see if we can go left, and yes, we can. It's great. Uh, there's one thing, however, Zach, that I don't like about this. Is this guy's super slow. I mean, before he was moving at a reasonable speed, but right now he's... Really, really slow. Well, the good thing is that he moves through the maze well. But like you said, yeah, he is a little slow. And I like our players to move a little fast. So I'm going to click out of this. And let's change the speed to a factor of 32 that's larger than 4. And if you remember, 8 is also a factor 32. So I'm going to double click. And let's change the speed to 8. So by doing this in all directions, my player should move twice as fast, but still move only one at a time. And now we've changed our speed so that we move faster, so I can check that off the list. And always we want to test our game to make sure that it works. Alright, so I'm going to press right, and I still move in alignment with the grid, I'm pressing left and right right now. Um, but I'm a lot faster. I can move where I want to, and this is a lot cooler to play around with. So here you have it. We're moving very cleanly through the maze. Um, even if we had a more complex maze with a lot more passages, uh, we'd still be able to move through it very cleanly. All right, so we encourage you guys to make some cool mazes and ask your teachers if you have any questions. And remember to save your games always, and we're done. Great. See you next time.